controversy surrounding one of the first major appointments by President-elect Donald Trump. WBZ political analyst John Keller is here. And John, of course, people are scrutinizing every single move the new president-elect is making. Sure, that's what happens when you win that job. And it's really not surprising given the unusual nature of the Trump campaign and uh, his unusual campaign tactics at times. You would expect people to be anxious for clues about what's coming next. So when Trump named Steve Bannon, his campaign CEO and former head of the right-wing Breitbart News website to be his chief strategist inside the White House, it was a sign that at the very least, Trump will not turn his back on the fringe elements of the right who helped fuel his victory. Under Bannon's guidance, Breitbart became a magnet for anti-Semites, racists, and sexists, drawn by headlines like this, calling a critic a renegade Jew and claiming that birth control makes women unattractive and crazy. Here's a taste of Bannon's philosophy from a 2013 interview. If you're fighting to take this country back, it's, you know, it's not going to be sunshine patriots. It's going to be people who want to fight. I mean, Andrew Breitbart was all about the fight. In fact, we call ourselves internally the Fight Club. So this is the guy who, along with Kellyanne Conway, ran the campaign right. the last several weeks. What's the explanation from the Trump people? Well, they're all pushing back hard on the notion that Bannon is bringing bigotry into the White House with him. Uh, Rance Priebus, the RNC chief who will be Trump's chief of staff, says he never saw any of this alleged bigotry while working with Bannon on the campaign. And here's Newt Gingrich on Face the Nation yesterday claiming Bannon can't be an anti-Semite because he's worked with many Jewish co-workers. Steve Bannon is a naval officer. He was a managing partner at Goldman Sachs. He was, a, he was a Hollywood movie producer. You know, the idea that somehow he represents... I'd never heard of the alt-right until the nutcake started writing about it. Yeah, well, those explanations haven't appeased Democrats who see this move as a huge mistake. Senator Ed Markey released a statement today, Paula, claiming, quote, Donald Trump has chosen to champion the positions of neo-Nazis, white nationalists, and anti-Semites by appointing Steve Bannon as chief strategist and senior counselor, end quote. Uh, Congressman Joe Kennedy issued a similar statement. So you see this starting to build. Will it blow away with the crush of news events? That remains to be seen. And we'll see if Trump himself will address it. Yep, right. exactly. John Keller, thanks so much.